Welcome to the course. This is our online classroom and if you're if this is your first time using an online course an online classroom sometimes it can be a little difficult so I'm going to give you a quick orientation so that you can have an idea how to navigate throughout the course. The first thing you'll do when you come to the home page is you'll see your login screen here and you also have a, a login right here it tells you whether you're logged in or not. So you enter your username and password and click your login button. And this is going to bring you to your home page. It's going to show that, that you're logged in. And if you have any messages, once you're logged in, it's going to show you that you have a message here. And there's also a pop-up that lets you know this as well. Now, from time to time, I'll make comments on your exams or I will shoot out a group message to inform you about site maintenance or anything new that's coming up. This is where it's going to show up. So we'll take a look at the messages here in a little bit. If you haven't ordered your textbook already, here are the links and instructions to do so. So once you have signed up for a course, it, the course that you have signed up for will come, pop up under My Courses. If, if you haven't logged in and um, done so then you have your the availability of selecting available courses down here. So it also has my courses in the drop down menu if you are enrolled it's going to pop up and you can go to your the course through your uh, my courses drop down or you can just click on the HVAC technician course itself. So here is the beginning page for the HVAC technician course. Let's start up here at the top right hand side. Messages. Uh, this pops up everywhere that I can make it pop up. This is where we will communicate about what's going on administratively within the site or something private between uh, myself and you. So if you click on this you see there's one message. This happens to be from me. And you go to messages it'll show who it's from and if you click on it it's going to show you right here this is a test message and then you can respond to me using our in internal uh, messaging system so that's a great way to uh, keep record of our correspondence this is private this is not public for anyone else Okay, so back to your home, and we'll go back to the technician course. Recent activity. If I write an article or if someone posts a question in the class forum down here, since your last login, it's going to pop up right here at recent activity, and you can review what's happened since your last login so that you don't miss anything. Latest news. From, from time to time, I will post up some articles that are HVAC training related but are really not part of this course. It's more of some real life experiences to um, give you little nuggets of knowledge here that you won't find in your textbook or, or in the class. So keep an eye on the latest news. Take your time and read through this. Any questions on any of these um, articles or if any, anything in the course I'd like you to use the class forum over here. Now our class forum is a place to publicly post questions and answers and if if you have a question chances are some other students will have the same question so if we post it in the forum and, that, and have a discussion and learn from each other then everyone has an opportunity to participate and learn. Uh, I really want to stress the class forum. Every some students use it. We have many students who don't and then they email me personally with a question and then then now that becomes a private conversation and no one else in the class can learn from it. So please use this class forum for any HVAC training related question. Of course curriculum is right here. Mike and Jeff just a little some of the articles I write and a little bit of the training that we do tell a little bit of, of a story between Mike and Jeff Mike is the new technician, Jeff is the experienced technician, and some discussions that they have about what's going on with a, a um, 
make believe service call. Webinar review notes. Um, module 1, 2, and 3 webinar notes are right here for you to download. And the schematic reading webinar part 1 is right here. Um, as far as webinars go, I've had a difficult time gathering enough students together at one time online to have a live webinar. I have a student that's in Alaska and all the way to the East Coast. Some students work nights, some students have families, and it's very difficult to schedule a time where we can all get together. So what I'm doing now is taking the webinars that we used to hold and breaking them down into 5 to 15 minute videos and, and embedding them in the module where they belong. When those videos do get posted, you'll see up here in the recent activity that a new video has been posted. Here is the um, HVAC simulation login instructions, getting started and your first day. So if you just if it just doesn't make sense, these are the, your instructions for that. The news forum is also where the art, latest news articles are posted, but this is a, a much easier and quicker reference here to uh, see if there's anything posted up there. All right, so here's our first module. And these are our learning obje objectives, and these are the reading assignments. Now you'll see we have the fifth edition reading assignment and the seventh edition. I still have students using the fifth edition textbook, and we have now moved to the seventh edition textbook. The only difference between the two is that um, seventh edition has a little bit more information, newer images and graphics, but the the meat of the course is the same. They have changed the names of some of the reading sections, so that's the only difference here. Now you can see up here in the fifth edition there are links. And look at we'll look at this 1.1 temperature through introduction to heat. And here we have seventh edition is heat temperature and pressure through introduction to heat. Reading assignment one in the seventh edition and in the fifth edition have different names, but they cover the same material. And this is the video, if you click on it, to watch to supplement your reading assignment. So if you don't get it through the reading assignment, here is a video right here to help you through. So we do have a video to accompany week one, module one, temperature and theory of heat. Now down here are the video lessons. Also, these are the same ones that you see up here. They just happen to link properly with the fifth edition reading assignments. Key concepts. These, these are some notes that I'll put down here. Some of the things that you really, really need to take away from module one. And then here's your exam. You can see the time limit is 90 minutes, 20 questions, minimum passing score of 80%. This is a timed exam, and when you hit module 3, then you have um, one hour to take the 20 question, question exam. Modules 1 and 2 tend to be a little more difficult, and most of the students haven't taken any type of exam in quite a few years, so I've extended the time to give you just a little bit more breathing room here in the first two modules. When you come down to the rest of the modules, you see you can't, you don't have access. You must pass module one with a minimum passing score of 80% before you get access to module two. Now, and that holds true throughout the course. So once you receive a, a score of 80% for module one exam, then module two's reading assignments and information will expand down and you'll have access to it and it'll accordion out as you uh, pass your exams. The exams are also set to three attempts for to pass. If you don't pass on the third attempt you get locked out and that's when you and I are going to get together and we're going to work together to figure out where um, we need to help you to get you through the course. The other thing I want you to know about the exams, there are some fill-in-the-blank questions. 
the fill in the blank questions are automatically graded so if you don't have it exactly right down to the comma and the capital letter it's going to grade it incorrectly I review every exam and every incorrect answer and so rest assured that if you typed in Fahrenheit but you didn't capitalize F and you got it wrong that I will um, review and correct the grade so don't uh, your initial grade when you get done don't worry about that if you have any fill in the blanks all right so that is the online classroom tour if you have any questions whatsoever please use the messaging system here to message me about that this is for administrative area so this would be technical questions I I don't understand um, why my grades are incorrect anything personal between you and I and private and then the best way to ask a question about anything technical is in this class forum and then everyone can learn from from what we're talking about so again any questions this is the place to shoot a message this is a place to ask your technical questions and I will be more than happy to help if you get stuck to the point where uh, you just can't move any further and you're getting frustrated let me know we will get together one-on-one -on -one online and live and I will coach and mentor your, you through and give you any help that you need again thank you for joining the course and I'm looking forward to spending the next few months with you